Okay, let's come back to the idea of why aldehydes are more reactive than ketones. So there's two main reasons. One is a reason of sterics. So with the, with the ketone, any group that's beside on either side of that ketone is going to take up space. And so the, the, the approach or collision with a nucleophile is going to be hindered by those groups. And the larger those groups get, the more steric hindrance there's going to be. Okay, whereas the aldehyde only has the one group next to it, plus a teeny tiny little proton. The other thing is an electronic effect. So alkyl groups are electron donating groups. And with the aldehyde, there's only one side that's really donating electron density. And what that electron density donation is doing is making that delta plus smaller um, on the carbonyl carbon. So in the ketone case, There's, a, there's the two groups that are donating electron density and partially neutralizing then the, the delta plus, the partial positive charge on that carbonyl carbon. Okay, and that's in contrast with the aldehyde where there's only the one side donating electron density. So that's not only is the delta plus bigger, the carbon more electrophilic in and of itself, but it's also less sterically hindered. And the main reason for that, um, the, the electron donating ability of alkyl groups comes back to hyper, the idea of hyperconjugation. So if we take a look at the empty pi star orbital of the carbonyl group, this is uh, analogous, in fact, to the empty p orbital that we've seen on carbocations. One of the things the methyl groups can do so their sigma orbitals that are filled with electrons can partially overlap with the pi star and so partially donate electron density into them and that partially neutralizes the delta plus on that carbonyl carbon atom.